today is my birthday guys i hope you can hear me because it's actually really windy out here um, but today is my 34th birthday and it's actually sunny blue sky for once because for the last few days it's been really cloudy windy and raining which has been fine it's not bothered us um, but today the sun's come out so we booked to go scuba dive in just going to wait to book in and we're going to take you on the ride to scuba dive I'm slightly nervous though because apparently there could be bull sharks out <laughs> fuck off don't do that that's not funny that's not funny <laughs> that's not funny that made my heart skip a bit <laughs> it's pretending to push me in oh there we go <laughs> don't do that <laughs> you said there could be bull sharks and if there is and we're going to ask them and if there is we're not going in sorry but no Bull sharks are really fierce and ferocious, and I, I, still, I just wouldn't like to do that. I so still yeah, go in. Let's take their advice, isn't it? No, no, you don't want it. Well, let's just ask them. Sharks, no. let's oh, let's ask this guy here. He's not going to know. He's not a scuba diver. Yeah, but he's he's a... just a man on a boat. Yeah, but he do, he probably doesn't know about the area and stuff. If he doesn't, we'll ask him. But I'd rather ask him. <laughs> so what happens is beforehand we'll go in this pool here and we will just like be refreshed because we haven't done it since 2019 so we'll put the tanks on like these people are doing go underwater breathe just remember the hand signals and stuff like that and just kind of get used to it before we go into the sea guys so we are back from scuba diving as you can see and it was good to scuba dive again 100% I was really looking forward to it but the whole experience wasn't as good as what we've experienced before it's all very rushed and stuff and but we did see like lots of fish and stuff didn't we like yeah. there was lots of colorful fish down there I saw it was a little bit it was it was much more than what I saw in Jamaica we had like first timers mm -hmm. with us as well and I thought if this was my first time, I wouldn't feel comfortable. It's like a huge thing to scuba dive, you know? We were both sick on the boat, I'm which was really bad. And then the second time that I went down, because we did two dives, the second dive that I, I did, when I was underwater, I was like, God, I'm actually feeling sick. What what happens? Can you? Is it possible to be sick underwater? I don't know, but I thought if it happens, what's gonna happen to me? I was really having to concentrate not to be sick. Anyway, we're back, we've got ready. Seven o'clock and our dinner's booked for half seven at one of the restaurants in the hotel. We since found out that that champagne and those little chocolates that we showed you, like there's been two now. I think it's both of them. We've since figured out that basically both of the bottles of champagne that we got wasn't from the hotel. They weren't sending bottles of champagne around to every single room. Um, it was from this lovely, lovely couple that we met around the pool when we pretty much first got here and she was one of our followers and we met her and her husband and they were so nice, we chatting for ages and then we arranged to go for dinner. We ha haven't yet gone for dinner, we're going to dinner tomorrow actually. Yeah, like they, they sent us a bottles of champagne, like for it, that thing on there, like they got someone from the hotel to come into a room and do it. And it's just so nice and kind and we were just like literally blown away and so we're really looking forward to going to dinner with them tomorrow i just love it when you meet ugh, just when you just like go out in the world and you you meet really nice people and you just click with people isn't it it's just yeah. so nice this whole trip obviously we left on the first of december and we've done so much and we've met so many amazing people and it's just been a bloody amazing trip hasn't it <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, this yes. is Moi Chandon and Champan. Okay, will I open up? Yeah, you can open up. Yeah, sure. Surprise for you. Okay. Thank you so much. You work on. Okay, guys. Hello. Hello. Are you having a good Hello. time? Yes. Good, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Really yeah, good, thank you. And enjoy your evening. Oh, thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Okay guys, so Ravina has surprised me to this cute little dinner, romantic dinner on the beach. I literally had no idea. Um, but now he's told me things that he was doing during the day all make sense. Yeah, so Ravina's has been like on a little secret mission the whole day. And he had to get me out to the beach somehow because obviously the restaurant I thought we were going to is inside. But I'm just up for anything. So I'm like, let's just go for a walk. They said the table will be ready in a minute, so I have to go for a walk. Let's just go, go for a walk down here. And yeah, and then we did, and then. Cute! And he's chosen all the food as well. He's chosen the whole menu for me. I know it's going to be nice because you know exactly what I like. So, And I, I literally have no idea what it is, which makes it even better. I'm so excited. <laughs> I couldn't get on camera, but literally just sang happy birthday and it was just the cutest thing. Three! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you so much, guys. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm not taking this one. <laughs> <laughs> Please hold the plate up. Oh no, I need to take a Yeah, wait, hold there. Guys, we've just arrived in Tulum, 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 yeah. Tulum. Um, but just real quick before I show you our hotel room that we've now got in Tulum, we just need to quickly update you on last night. So you know we said we were going out for dinner with a couple that we met around the pool. And I didn't take my camera or anything because, well, I just thought we were going out for a dinner and there's obviously not much to feel when eating dinner around the table. Oh my god, this restaurant that they took us to was literally the most incredible restaurant. We've never been to a restaurant like it. It, it, it was a full-on experience, basically. We got to sit kind of outside, but we had a shelter over us. And it was really, really busy. And it was just a really good vibe, really good music. There were like fire dancers there. Uh, every time someone ordered a bottle of Moe champagne to, the, to their table, they got this like five girls in red dresses, like stunning girls with this random guy with them that would play this specific song. I can't remember how it goes now. It was great. Yeah. And every time someone ordered a bottle, basically they they march Ooh, down with sparklers. Doop, there it is, yeah. <laughs> with like sparklers and they were like proper like shouting and like they would go to the table, get someone up, and then they would be like whoop and like make a big deal out of it basically. The amount of people that ordered my way was ridiculous, right? Anyway, because it was my birthday the day before, they bloody got me one, didn't they? Oh my god, I was so embarrassed. Like, me being the centre of attention is just like... But at the same time, it was so nice because it was so kind of them. And it was actually really, really funny, weren't it? It was actually so was funny great. because was I was sitting there and then... By the, like, this probably was like the 10th time that someone ordered a bottle. Obviously didn't know it was coming to our table. And like, I looked behind, saw them all like marching down. And I thought, oh, they're going to the table pie. So I was like, clapping my hands, like enjoying it. And then I quickly realized they were coming to our table. And with that, I was just like, oh my God, the guy like took my hand, stood me up, like stand up, stand up. I was like, okay. Anyway, it was an amazing night, amazing evening. Like them two are just so much fun. And yeah, like friends made for life. So I don't know if they'll watch this, but Tanya, and Vinny, Tanya and Vinny, thank you so much for an incredible evening. It was honestly, never seen anything like it. Okay guys, so yeah, so we've just got to Tulum, checked into our hotel and the hotels were actually getting booked up really quickly. We literally booked this this morning and I think we've just got really lucky because 
it's really nice i think it's new because it looks new um didn't have many reviews i i think on tripadvisor it had like over uh, 232 or something but they were all really really good and we can see why because yeah it's just it's, it's really really nice in here and um, has a really nice vibe downstairs as well <laughs> yeah so this is what it looks like it's super cozy like i just love how cozy it feels in here oh they've got these rental bikes everywhere a nice king size bed um no, those oh bikes. yeah rental bikes we are staying here for three nights, so it's the 30th today, New Year's Eve tomorrow. We're meeting up with a couple who we met on the retreat, the ayahuasca retreat, called Sophia and Richard, because they are here as well. And at the retreat, we were like, oh my God, like we need to meet up, let's do like New Year's Eve together and everything, which is just the nicest thing ever to meet up with them again, because they're so lovely. We're gonna have some drinks, and then we're gonna go to a hotel called Papaya, Papaya. Papaya player, Papaya player, yeah. Papaya player Papaya. for a New Year's Eve party. We've bought our tickets already and we're just really excited. So yeah, right now it's, what's time? What's time? Now so it's half past seven. We're gonna go for a walk, check it out, see what we can find and just basically check it out. Obviously it is dark outside so we're not gonna be able to see a lot, but it looks cool though. We just, when we just drove through, it was cool. Um, but I'm gonna take my camera out right now because I don't wanna miss anything this time. <laughs> We've rented a moped. Here we go. <laughs> So we are back at the hotel. I've definitely caught the sun today. I look really burnt and I've got slight strap marks as well. Now I look a different colour to my face, but oh well, it's all good. We had such a fun day riding around Tulum. It was, oh my God, it was so amazing, weren't it? It was really good. It, yeah. was, a, oh, it was just so good, the sun was shining. Everyone was just in such a happy mood. It was just, oh. Tulum is incredible, it's such a nice place. Obviously, we didn't get to see too much of it, but what we did see was lush, and we went on the beach, went for a little walk, and it was just really nice. And I think we've got like half an hour, and then we're going to... A bar Oh yeah, I've already told you this, huh? A bar first. A bar first, oh yeah. yeah. We're going to a bar first, before papaya, papaya player, and then celebrate New Year's Eve. It's New Year's Eve, can you believe that? I keep forgetting that it's New Year's Eve. Wild. Happy New Year's Eve, guys. <laughs> um, even though this is going to be like way into 2023 when this goes out, but yeah, we can't wait. Party! One last party of 2022. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. It's like a proper hat. It's so random. It's got a bit of a 
Tomorrowland kind of vibe. You know, all the little yeah, yeah. places. Oh, wow.